Hi friends, in this tutorial I am going to be covering uh, how to store information and variables. So before I start, I just want to say that if you have any questions or any recommendations, put it in the comment section below. Um, so let's get started. So as I said, um, in this tutorial I will be showing you guys how to store information and variables. So you can store things as simple as this, like you can create a in here you can create a variable let's say we are creating a variable by the name of add and we are saying store uh, 10 plus 2 so now if we type in add it shows us the result of this uh, 10 plus 2 so this is a simple way of doing it we can say we can create another like abc is equal to 100 my sorry 100 minus 50 and then if you type abc it is uh, 15 here 100 minus 50 which is 50 so uh, this is how you can uh, store things in a variable uh, things like adding subtracting etc uh, so the next thing that um, you can th the next thing is that you can also store uh, commands or the result or output of a commands in a variable so let's say that uh, you have a let's type in a command like ipconfig it shows us uh, information about our network so the current ip address is uh, 10 0 2 15. this is our subnet mask and this is our default gateway so let's say we want to only get this uh, ipv4 address so how do we do this so what we do is we store this in a variable so in this variable let's call it uh, ip and we say that uh, store in this IP variable the IP config command. So once you do that, now if you type in IP, we can see that uh, this result this is the same as this in here before, because in here what we did was we store the IP config command in the IP variable. So let's clear the screen and run this again. So this is what uh, we get. Uh, in this variable we have stored the output of the IP config command so we want to find or we only get we want to only get this IPv4 address so in order to get, to get this what we do is we see are saying that uh, we type in the variable name which is IP and we are saying that uh, select a string so what it does is that it selects the string a string what a string do we want to select you want to select this string ipv4 address select this string with ipv4 address ipv4 address so what it does is that it selects this string and then what we say is that select object first one uh, so in here what this ip is a variable that holds the uh, output of the ip config command this in here select a string ipv4 address this says that select the string that has the ipv4 address because we want to know the only the ip address of this uh, command of this computer so if we type in ip config it gives us all this information we just want to find this ip address ipv4 address so what it says that it says select the string that has the ipv4 address in it this one this last string has the ipv4 address then we are saying that the select the first object so this is the first object in this so in this uh, string so once we press and enter sorry let me now we can see that it shows us our ipv4 address previously when we typed ip we got all this now we are only getting the ipv4 address so let's say we only find want to we want to only find the uh, get default gateway address so what we do is we just change the ipv4 address line so if we change it to default gateway this in here default gateway so we typed it in here we are saying select the string that has the default gateway in it and select the first object so what it does is if we type press this time we can see that it only shows us this string the default gateway string default gateway 10022 so this is how you can uh, truncate or select a specific line from a command also this is one way of doing it 
another is that um, let's say uh, you want to find out how many uh, processes that are running on your computer right now so let's clear the screen now if we type in the git process command what it does is that uh, it shows us a list of all the processes that are currently running on our system so let's say we want to find out how many uh, commands are there so right now if we see that there are these many there are uh, it shows the commands that are running this is like from here to in here from, uh, so now let's say we want to find out how many uh, commands there are so what we do is uh, we create a variable let's call it processes and we say get process so what you are saying is that uh, this get process command in here you're saying save the output of it in the variable called processes so if you press enter now if you type processes it is the same as the before one in here as these two are the same this time you're uh, in here we're calling the command in here we have stored the get process command in a variable and this time you're just typing the name of the variable which shows us the output of the get process command so let's say we want to find out how many processes are running so what we do in here is that we type in processes which is the variable which holds the get process command or uh, the get process yes the get process command and we type in count so what it does is that it's 49 it shows that there are currently 49 prof uh, 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 processes run running so if we calculate all these processes from here to and uh, till the bottom of the page till in here there are 49 so we, uh, it says that there are currently 49 processes running or if we type this command get command it shows us a long list of commands that are available within the powershell so if you want to find out how many commands there are if we calculate it one by one it will take a long time so a simple way of doing this is if you type in, if you create a variable let's say you are creating a variable called commands and you're saying that store the output of the get command uh, command let into the commands variable so if you type in commands you can see that it shows us all those commands so we only but we only want to find out how many commands are there so how do we do that the same as before we type in commands which holds the output of the git command variable and we simply type in count it shows us that uh, currently we have about 1468 commands on our powershell so this is uh, these are the useful ways of uh, storing uh, information in variables you can add things uh, you can also truncate uh, the output of a command or count uh, there are many other things that you can do so this is it for this tutorial guys if you have any questions or any recommendations any suggestions put it in the comment section below and um, i'll see you guys in the next one